Hey, what's up guys? Stefan here. Last week, we looked at my approach to recording vocals. This week, we begin looking at editing them. There's many processes when it comes to editing vocals, so we're going to tackle each one, one video at a time. Today, we're looking at comping, something I should have probably covered a little bit in the last video, in the recording video. However, it's okay because it ties nicely into the editing stage. In Logic Pro X, if you have loop enabled, when recording, it will automatically record a new take each time the cycle has finished. This creates a folder of takes. I like to have a different color for each take as it makes it easier visually. You can set it to automatically color each take by going to File, Project Settings, Recording, and then click on Auto Colorize Takes. Before doing this, let me add that you must have advanced features enabled first. To enable this, go to Logic Pro X, Preferences, Advanced Tools, and tick Everything. With everything off, you've basically spent $200 on GarageBand. This also gives us all the editing features we need for the future videos in this series. So if you want to follow along, it's a must that you have all these features um, selected, okay? So once you have your takes, you'll be able to select between them. You can do this by clicking on each take or clicking the number in the top left of the region and selecting from the menu. If you found a take that works, then you're pretty much done. You can select the other takes and delete them. However, if you haven't managed to find that perfect take, but you've identified good parts in each take, from here, we can select only the good parts and compile them all together. Just hover over each part, click, hold and drag over the selection. Do this for each take. If a particular take was no good, you don't have to use it at all. You can leave it or just delete it like we did before. Logic automatically creates what are called crossfades between selections to create a smooth compilation of takes without any pops and clicks. We'll cover this in the next video when we begin to look at cleaning up the vocal. You'll notice that the number that was in the top left has now turned to a letter. This indicates that this region is now a compilation of different takes. Comp A. The reason it has a letter behind it and it's not just comp is because you can have more than one compilation of takes. If you click the letter, then click duplicate comp, it will create comp B and you can try something new. Then select between each one to see which one is best. You could have comp C, comp D, comp E, so on and so forth. You can then actually go back and label these compilations or rename them. Stefan's favorite. So comping is great and it's the first step in my editing vocals process. Going through each take and compiling the best parts. However, once takes are compiled, there's not much else within the editing realms you can do with them. Because they're essentially folders. Like on a computer, you cannot edit all the files within a folder by trying to edit the folder itself. So we have to do what is called flatten the compilation. I'm conscious of time, so experiment between all of the options here. But my preference is flatten and merge. This creates for me one region and one file out of the compilation I selected, disregarding everything else from the arrange window. Each option does this slightly differently, and you choose which option depending on the situation. Experiment and learn what each one does. Once you've done this with all your takes, you're ready for the next stage. Be sure to subscribe so you do not miss when I upload the next video in the series. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new. If you did, hit that like button and drop a comment in the comment section below. I've been Stefan and as always, happy beat making.